So we're gonna be taking this little guy apart. This is the Audio-Technica battery. Uh, this is a swag battery they gave us. And what I am hoping is inside is an 18650 battery. They gave away this free at the True Audio Open House little mini expo. And uh, this is probably the best swag I've ever gotten because I actually find this to be really useful. We're gonna turn this USB battery for my phone, we're actually gonna turn this into an 18650 uh, single cell battery charger. Uh, using my Dremel, take this thing apart and really uh, do a little bit of modification that really make this piece of swag into something I can actually utilize on a daily basis. So the first thing I need to do is I need to peel this up. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. I need to do this from the other side. I peeled it up earlier before. There we go. We literally just peeled that up. And we're gonna unscrew those four screws. So we've now taken out the four screws. You can now lift this out with some tweezers from our kit. And from the backside, just push. And what do we have? An 18650 battery and a little charging circuit. Boom. There we go, very nice, right? That's exactly what we want to see. As you can see, it's a one cell, little push button. I'll light up. I don't know if we can actually see the push button working. We'll have to check all that, but there you go. Very, very simple. And that's exactly what we want. Now we've set this up actually the test and there we go. We can see that it's currently charging. If we unplug it there and it says it's good. So this will give us an indication Plug this in, plug that in. Yeah, boom. And that's exactly what we want. So we're gonna put a Dremel here, Dremel some of this out. We're gonna add a spring and we're gonna Dremel this out to get this all working with this. And that will be our one cell battery charger. So the next thing we're going to do, now that I've actually desoldered the two tabs, the positive and the minus, as we can see right there, um, we are going to now add battery connectors. Now I've got this bag of just miscellaneous flat connectors and springs. I actually sourced these off of a keychain I got at a convention that had like a little uh, AAA cell, but you know, a little, little spring is not a big deal. We'll make it so that the spring touches that side, the pad touches that side, and it'll just reinsert and you can just now swap these in and out whenever you want. And by the way, if anyone's curious, that is the battery that came inside of this unit. That's a pretty nice little battery. So there we go, nice, simple little battery. And this little thing, we're gonna dremel away the side so we can reach in and out and actually grab and swap the battery out. So there we have it. We've. Uh kind of taken this battery. We've dremeled the sides of this thing. Um, there's the spring touching the back contact. The front's touching that front contact right there. And if we were to tap that button, we may open that hole up. You can see that it's currently working. A little bongo tie to hold this other together because apparently the housing uh, doesn't compensate for the fact that we've added this nice spring. So a little bongo tie will uh, kind of just keep the tension on there. And I've got a wire uh, right here. I've got a wire, a uh, little USB. So we'll plug this in to the side, upside down. And we'll plug that in. And there you can see, it's blinking. And that battery cell now is charging. And if we wanted to, when we go to pull the battery cell out, 
you can see the blinking doesn't exactly turn off it stays a little slightly lit. There's a different blink pattern based on this circuit. So that's perfect. And there we go, very, very simple uh, little battery box that we designed. So there we go. Thank you, Audio Technica.